Hello and welcome to the video on when to use the median or median. Median or median. <laughs> the median or mean. Okay, I'm catching my little mistakes. Maybe not. Okay, so you need to know that the this is the measure of center and the measure of spread is the IQR. And the, and the measure of spread here is called the standard deviation, which we haven't even done yet. Okay, so these are always reported together and these two are always reported together. Okay, so the reason I started with the median and the IQR is they can always be used. Okay, and and, and when you use them deter is determined by the shape. Okay, um, this is only used for one shape. So I'm kind of teasing you because I want to show you why because it's a lot of fun. Okay, so this could be used for any shape. Always be used, okay, for any shape. Okay, but in general, we don't use the median and the IQR for one of the shapes. Mean and standard deviation is only one shape. And I'll show you why. And I figured since you guys like games too much, so much, let's talk about these. And the reason why is because of this thing called resistant and not resistant. Okay, so let's go resistant. Resistant is when we have statistics. And when I mean statistics, I'm talking about the median, the mean, the IQR, Q1, median, or yeah, I got median, min, all these numbers, the five number summary, Q3, IQR, standard deviation, which I haven't talked about yet, but resistant, okay? You could get this without even knowing what the standard deviation is. Resistance means statistics will not change much if, if there are extraordinary large or small values in our data set. Not resistance is the statistics will change significantly when there are extra, extraordinarily large. Okay, so so not resistance means you cannot resist outliers. Resistance means if I introduce an outliers, these guys aren't going to change much. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a statistic out there and you're gonna guess. Median, the median. Okay, so do you think that the median can resist? Do you think the median can resist? Or do you think it can't resist? Meaning that if I have a set of data and you introduce a very large number in there, do you think my median will change much? Or do you think if I introduce a large value, it will change a bunch? Okay, so what do you think? And it is resistant. It's resistant. The median is resistant. Okay? So I guess that wasn't so much fun. It sounded good when I thought about it. This is resistant. Okay, so let's go over another one. Let's go over, because you're going to report these two together, the IQR, which consists of Q1 and Q3. So this is the IQR. So all these could be considered the same. Do you think it's resistant or do you think it's not resistant? I'm going to show you why here, too. These are not resistant. So I could drag that down here. I'm sorry, these are resistant. They are resistant. So I have the one that's resistant. Okay. So these are resistant, which is very, very important, which means that if you have if you have shapes which are skewed okay right or left we want to use the median and the IQR and the whole reason why is because it resists uh, it resists these numbers okay um, so and, and I'll just give you a, a quick example on the median and when you find the median to find the Q1 and the Q3 those are just medians the Q1 is the median of the min and the min and the median. Okay, so you have this min, you have this Q1, you have this median, you have this Q3, and you have this max. Okay, so the Q1 is the median of that guy and that guy. The Q3 is the median of the max and the median. So if this is resistant, 
then this is going to be resistant. And I'll show you what I mean by resistance. Say this is your data set. I'm going to put it in order already. Okay? So the median is the median equals 7 because that's just how you do it. You guys should know how to do it. You just keep cut this order from least to greatest and keep knocking these out until you get to the middle. So there's an odd number, so that's my median. So say there's a mistake and somebody puts two zeros on the next data point. So it's supposed to be 10, but they put 1,000. Okay, so my new, now I have an even number. So my new median is going to be the average of these two, which is 7. So if you add this outlier, this is an outlier, right? That's a huge outlier. It's not even right. It's a mistake. It's an outlier. So when I put this, my new data set would be 5, 6, 7, 7, 9, and 1,000. So I just had 1,000 here. So now it's going to be the average of these two. So my new median, my new median equals 7. So as a matter of fact, it didn't even affect it at all. It didn't even affect it. Now think about an average, okay? I didn't, I'm not doing standard deviation, but know to get the standard deviation, you're getting an average of something. You'll learn about it later. It's, there's an average in it. So just know that the standard deviation formula has an average formula in it. So whatever's true for the mean is true for the for the uh, um, standard deviation. For resistance. So now let's get me to that. The mean. Do you think it's resistant? Do you think if you got the average of, okay, if you got the average of the original data, didn't have a 1,000, right? If you get the average of these numbers, and you add a thousand. What do you think this thousand is going to do to my average? Okay, so in statistics we do averages like x bar. So that's x bar old, x bar new. I don't even have to do it. You guys could see it. If I get the average of these four numbers, five, six, seven, seven, okay, that number is going to fall somewhere around probably six point something. But if I put a thousand there, if I put a thousand, that new that new average is going to go way, way up because this thousand really, really takes into account for the average. So the, so the mean is not resistant. It's not resistance. And just know it for now that the standard deviation is also not resistant. The standard deviation is actually worse. The standard deviation is actually more not resistant than the mean. I mean, they're both bad, but, you know, this really really would increase the variability of your distribution so what happens here is is we, we want to use these two if we have a symmetric okay and you have to get comfortable don't just use the median because you always could use it symmetric or unimodal symmetric okay so if my graph looks like this see See, nice and easy. Okay, very nice. This is symmetric and user. So, so I want to report. I would, and I didn't even teach you about this. You would report the x bar and the standard deviation, which we do s of x. Okay, if it's skewed, okay, here's a skewed data set. See, I did it. It's not a skewed data set. It's a, it's the graph of the data set is skewed. There's a big difference. If you say that you have a skewed data set, that's actually wrong. It's a hard habit. It's a hard habit to break because that's like the way people talk. But you don't have skewed data. You have a skewed distribution. So if you have a skewed distribution, okay, we'd want to report the mean, the median, and the IQR. Okay, because see, I could throw a point over here. I could throw this over here, and that's not going to affect your median. And I'm going to show you how the mean and the median re relate after I explain what these guys are, because I haven't even talked about the mean and the standard deviation yet. Okay, so thanks for watching. Have a nice night. Hope you're enjoying.